Welcome to PMTV. Welcome to the show. It's holiday season, so we thought, hey, Billy, let's get him something. So what did we get him, PFT? Well, we wanted Billy to spread his wings a little bit. He's had a rough couple months. We said, Billy, here's the card. Go anywhere in the world that you anywhere. want to go. Pick a globe. Anywhere but here. Spin it. Yeah, just get out of here. Leave. Go somewhere else. We don't care. Just leave. What's up guys? We are here at the Jewel of the Hudson Valley, Poughkeepsie, New York, for one of the biggest events of the year, the Reptile Show. Breeders and animal collectors from all across the country have gathered here to display their snakes, lizards, turtles, arachnids, amphibians for everyone to see, for people to buy, to show off their craft and their hobby. I am very excited today because I used to come to these when I was a child and now I get to share it all with you. So let's go check it out. So these are ball pythons. And what this breeders, what breeders specifically try to do is they try to make like the coolest color morphs and like so look at these patterns notice how they're all different this is a three thousand dollar ball python like look at that. look at that pure white one that's like super rare it's actually fascinating the reptile keeping industry is super interesting because it's created a whole different kind of industry which is how to feed your reptiles so this guy's just selling cockroaches crickets mealworms different kinds of silkworms and I'm pretty sure there's definitely a fridge in here that's just filled with dead rats. So, all these snakes gotta eat. And where'd you buy snake food? Frozen rats. As you can see, this is just three refrigerators filled with frozen dead rats, mice, and probably some rabbits too. I'm here with Adam of Komodo Reptiles and just like, Quick questions, how did you get into the industry? What are events like this good for you as a company? And what do you think it presents for the hobbyists in general? Yeah, I've, I've been doing this forever since I was this big. Just was always kind of fascinated by reptiles. Kept one as a pet and it just kind of spiraled from there. What's the craziest exotic creature you've ever kept? Uh, I'm actually known for very rare reptiles, so um, I've got some interesting stuff. Uh, I got one today if you want to see. I'd love to see it. Today I brought it with me, this is a, called a red vine snake out of South America. Oh wow. Uh, Syphlophus compressus. It's very docile, you can handle it. It's in shed right now, so its eyes are a little cloudy, but normally it's like vibrant red. That is a beautiful snake. Do you do a lot of color morphs too? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, ball python morphs, boa morphs. Um, Basically, a thousand different paint jobs you could ever imagine. That's so uh, cool. for snakes, yeah. I'd look, could, could, any chance we could see some of those ball pythons? Yeah, definitely. So that's that a, is a beautiful snake. So that that is a pied, hence the the white um, blotches. Uh, that's a uh, Enchi Pinto pied. Wow. And this is actually the mom to that snake. Oh wow. What's the most expensive snake you have with you? With me today, yeah. nothing too crazy at home. You're getting close to six figures. Wow. These guys got some serious lizards. This lizard right here, a Cayman Island lizard, super rare and used to be endangered, but now because of breeding efforts, they've actually, in hobbyists, they brought it back into uh, higher populations. Look, it's a $500 lizard. Looks like an alligator. Something that's very interesting about these shows is that they're all breeders and they're all competing with each other. So you see a lot of guys who are, you know, selling the same types of snakes, lizards, but at the same time, they're competing to who bred the better colored snake, you know, the cooler looking lizard. It gets pretty uh, contentious around here. Actually, they're probably looking at like two different places at the same time. 
So are these the same species? So each different part of Madagascar has its own color of panther. That's awesome. So these guys are called amelopes. So they're not different color morphs or breeding? It's they're... not morphs, no. Yeah, yeah, like I said, different like yeah. regions of the area. Oh, that's awesome. Like Nosy Bay is a small island off Madagascar. They're all blue with red eyes. There's Ambanja, yeah, there's a bunch of different ones. Really Valley. Cool. So that green one's actually worth like twenty thousand dollars. Wow, good like, job. Isn't that so insane? Cool. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. It's that. just a snake. That's yeah. a cool frog. I mean, yeah. that's like might be a good investment yeah. just moving forward. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll just, talk about that. You did a great job. Uh huh. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Really good yeah. job. I'm very it was, happy. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. yeah. You know what else is interesting is it's the holiday time, and a lot of people are wondering. How do I get my hands on the brand new Mountain Dew Fruit Quake flavor? It's only here for a limited time. It's actually ultra rare. The good news is they're trying to give away some of this brand new Mountain Dew. That's right. All you have to do is you just need to tell Mountain Dew your hottest holiday food take. From eggnog to fruit cake to caroling, whatever it is, Mountain Dew wants you to drop your most unpopular holiday related opinion. It could be about food. It could be about anything. They want the hottest takes, share your takes, tag the Mountain Dew social media accounts for a chance to earn some cold Mountain Dew Fruit Quake. This stuff is as good as gold. I'm oh, telling you, it's awesome. Get yourself some Mountain Dew Fruit Quake today. Just let them know your hottest holiday takes. Well, that's a fire oh. salami. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, like yeah, that yeah, yeah, that's no, we'll buy, yeah, yeah. Did you kiss that one? You gonna buy one of those? Well, I mean, I, I, how many of these did you fuck? The different color morphs are so fascinating. How just like one little lizard, a leopard gecko, just has so much variety. I used to breed those in my closet. They're easy to breed. Good. It was cheaper. Just breed them in your closet. Look at that blue tongue. What, it licked me? It was like a little... Blue tongue skinks are so cool. Green iguanas are not usually that color. That is a very rare orange iguana. These are my favorite frog. These are giant African bullfrogs, and even though they're like this big now, they can grow into this big and eat mice and rats. They're, they're something else. This is a $2,000 crab. I've almost bought like four frogs, but this one, this one might make me pull the trigger. It's a giant African bullfrog. I used to keep them as a child. Uh, this one's fully grown. It's, it's eyeing me. 400 bucks, probably about three pounds. I think it's a girl too. Thick girl. These are the lizards from holes, that like the frilled lizards. Check it out. The dragons. A lot of people get weirded out by like the cold-blooded, scaly, slimy, but I just think it's so fascinating. They're just like, there's so much more variety and they're almost like living jewels in a way. Like why would you buy a $10,000 chain when you could have a $10,000 super colorful snake that like also looks sick? And you can also wear it like a chain and it's living. The, the Daiko Gecko. Yeah, this is the Geico Gecko. It's half crusted? Yeah, so I created this. Wow. That this is, is so a cool. crested gecko Chihua hybrid. Oh my god. So it took a male Chihua gecko and a female crested gecko. <laughs> Do you mix, have you ever tried to mix any other types of geckos? I have. I've done a crested and a gargoyle. That didn't work out as good. I, I won't try that again. Yeah. Um, there wasn't anything terrible with it, but it wasn't, um, like these guys can pretty much hang upside yeah. down. They're, these guys are pretty spectacular. They're, yeah. you know, I feel like they're the best of both worlds. Chihua huh. and then Chihua crested. Yeah. Well, that was even cooler than I ever expected. We talked to breeders, we talked to feeders. We saw everything from dead mice to gigantic snakes 
to all sorts of cool color morphs and varieties. We even saw some several hundred thousand dollar animals out there on the floor today. Honestly, great day. Thanks for joining us. This was super cool.